Oops. Turn this uh, off down. Watch your football. <laughs> yeah, well, it's a distraction, as you know. As you look. Well, first of all, before we start, you know, I was hanging out with Stevie DB yesterday, and uh, you know, he's walking. I be walking on 125th Street, 145th Street, because he wanted to go to this. Oh, he wanted to go someplace. We wanted. To, we were just walking, walk through Morningside. Well, not Morningside. Yes, yeah, Morningside Park. You know, up there, up there, uh, where uh, uh, we even went up to. Um, where our first world alliance used to be up there on Convent Avenue. He was going. He was going to a big liquor store. He was saying, you know, blah 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 blah. He's trying to get some honey wine or something like that. Oh, but we stopped by. Oh, I ain't seen this place in a long. I forgot about this. You know, you know Harlem has these fish joints. You know, uh, where you know fried fish and you know you just have fish and fish and chips or I say chips, fish and <laughs> fish and um, what do you call them? French fries, whatever they are. We call them fish and chips in South Africa. Uh, and uh, anyway, so we. we Got fish sandwiches and sat sat by that park that has a pool up there on 145th Street. You know, he's looking for some some sort of drink, some uh, Coco Loco. He's looking for some sort of soft drink they don't have anymore because all the bodegas have the same stuff now. You know, there's no more individual stuff. Anyway, so I came back and, and, I, uh, and we went to that liquor store and I was looking for some Primitivo. They didn't have it. You know, Primitivo is an Italian wine. It's from the southern part of Italy. The first grape that came to Italy. Doesn't matter. And uh, usually, I, usually I just get it when I'm in when I'm in Virginia, I'm in New York, and for some reason I didn't have wine in a long time. So ah, I mean, that's a primitivo. So I couldn't get it. Anyway, so he came back, da da da. I'm, uh, anyway, so, so we, we, we parted, and then I was walking back, and I said, well, let me let me walk down there. I know there was some sort of liquor store down here someplace. I was on, I was on 125th Street then, and, uh, and uh, Lexington Avenue. Oh, yeah, went and got a, 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 um, a squash pie, um, a zucchini squash pie from the, from the, you know, from the black Muslims up there. On Twenty Seventh Street and Seventh uh, Avenue, Malcolm's Boulevard. So anyway, so then I'm walking back and CBD we left, and uh, I said, "Well, let me go check this out." You know, this other liquor store that I knew I knew about. Well, I thought I knew about, but anyway, I knew about the store, and I found it a Primitivo. They had about three Primitivos, but this one I got. Oh, this was so good, and it's, it's uh, it doesn't matter. I'm not I, anyway. It's a good Primitivo, and uh, I had it last night with some stuff in there. I have a little bit less. I'm watching for football now. Huh? Oh, so good. I love red wine that's got some. Mm, red wine has got some mm, 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 to it, you know? So, so he said, well, brother, you know, aren't you some sort of revolutionary or something like that? Said, well, <laughs> and and you know very well that all these things, like, you know, you know how to, uh, the, uh, what do you call these people, you know? The forces that are against the against the downtrodden, you know, they just you know, the colonial forces. What what they distract you with, you know, with with uh, music, you know, then they give you worse moves if you if you don't know the underground scene, you know. They distract you with with of of course uh, sports football, you know. They just they distract you with a whole bunch of stuff, right? And now they got oh, now they can distract you really good because they got the um you know, you got the internet with the um well, Instagram, I love Instagram. You know, that could distract you or YouTube, whatever. But also, the gaming, the gaming is huge. So you know, a lot of the people that might go into these other space, they 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 gamers. So you you always you have to proportion your day. You know what I mean? Anyway, so I got stuck on football last year because I got stuck. I got I got stuck in the United States, so I started watching football. But this season, man, it's been amazing. I can go like this. Man, so many games going overtime. Right now, I just uh, finished um, uh, the Titans and um, the Colts went into overtime. Titans won. Uh, when I, oh, poor Colts, you know. But I watched earlier the Jets. The Jets. The, the Queens Jets. The New York Jets. They beat you. Uh, 34, something like 34 to 31, they beat up on, I'm not even going to tell you who they beat up on, it don't matter, they beat up on somebody, you figure, you figure it out, because you're not interested anyway, because it's something else, it was amazing, I said, what, you know, and now I'm watching um, New Orleans, they got by Mark Ingram, you know what I mean, and you know, I said, oh, as soon as I heard that, I said, oh, they're going to win, you know, against Tom Brady and them, Say sort of methodically, you know, taking apart the, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, why am I talking, for, forget football, you know, 
But here, these are distractions. You know what I mean? You still got to stay on point with your, your main mission. So if my main mission is to make sure the downtrodden are no longer downtrodden, well, you know, then I, I, I got my work done. Oh, uh, um, wait, wait, wait. Let me just show you. I got an excuse for all this stuff there. Wait a second. Oh, as you all know, I'm, I'm a, I'm an acolyte of Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. You know, and um, and and I, I was reading this passage today. It's kind of interesting because one of the things he says is that you know, uh, you, you, your your time is your economy. You know how you spend your time is what it is. You know, so if you spend your time, you know, in the for what with all these distractions, then of course you're not da 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 whatever it is. You know what I mean? But here's the interesting thing, right? Oh, that's the other thing. Um, me and Stevie D was talking. I was, and he was, we was talking about something, and the boycotting came up. I'm going like that. Boycotting is so, you can't boycott. No, all those, all those, I say, all those things that we used to do, you know, to, to, to further our liberation, they're all out the window. They all can be compromised and everything like that. So boycotts don't work. You know what I mean? Think of it. Nestle's, you know what I mean? Okay, so you're going to boycott Nestle's water. But you know how many other products Nestle's got in all kinds of things? It's just messed up. Boycott doesn't, doesn't do any good. But let me just read you something from um, Mr. Neely Foley Jr. If it's it, if it is here, entertainment. Oh, I think it's in the entertainment section. I saw it earlier. Um, oh, maybe I don't have it here. Well, anyway, I can I can just tell you because I, I read Mr. Neely Foley Jr. all the time. Oh, it's about music and like that and noise, you know. Um, uh, oh, this is a not an independent compensatory concept. You know this book. You should get this book. You know, go to www.producejustice.com. Get the book. You read it like a you read it like a, a a scripture. You know what I mean? Every once in a while, you pick up something. You 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 know you pick it up and and you read it. But one of the things he says is that you know what we talk about boycott. You know, it's useless to boycott. You know what I mean? But one of the things he says you shouldn't be in a bunch of crowds. You know, I just missed the crowd. Not this crowd. I'm in New York, and uh, because they have the COVID thing, and you gotta you gotta have some sort of COVID passport. You know, you gotta have your uh, proof that you had a shot, and then you have to have your ID. You know what I mean? Reminds me of slavery when we had to wear those those things to go to one plantation to another. So, so anyway, so was, Craig Harris had a concert today, and uh, that I always want to see Craig, but I couldn't go because you know you, to, you, you can't get into you have this coat, you know, whatever it is. But I want I want to see Doom, uh, in in you know for the the, um, the IMAX whatever have you. Couldn't go to the movie theaters, you know. So. What can I tell you? Save me some money. But I miss I miss Craig because Craig is going to be at the top of his game. I know he is because it's just everybody that I know. All of us has been torn, um, working in this in this sphere. We all are at, starting to get at the top of our game. And Craig, at the top of the game, is playing with uh, strings, whatever. You know, buddy was just telling me he came back from the concert because he could go because he got shot. I don't. I'm not shit. I'm not. I'm not getting shot. You know what I mean? <laughs> Stevie DB's not getting that shot. Uh, Grace said, don't, we, don't, we, we, we don't shoot, you know what I mean? But tomorrow morning, actually, tomorrow, I'm going to take a bunch of tests. And one of the tests I'm going to do is get get the COVID anti, antibody test, you know what I mean? Now, I know they don't accept if you had the COVID. They, it's funny. They don't accept if you had the COVID and if you have the natural immunity. Again, they don't accept that. No, no, no. I'm going to get my antibody test anyway. Because right, VA, I can get any test I want, any blood test I want. But, you know, they insist you take a shot. Here's the funny thing. Now they now they have this whole thing. It's flu season. You need your flu shot. Some of what is this? You got to take a COVID shot and boosters. Then you got to get your flu shot. Well, I ain't had a flu shot. I ain't had no shots since 1970, except for tetanus. But the point is, you know what I mean. You can you if you can't see it now, you want to you know you. you it, I can't explain to anybody. I'm I'm through. In fact, I'm sort of withdrawn. Uh, from stuff that this is my youtube channel like this you know what i mean I, I just want to i just want to interview now on youtube i don't really want to do these little meandering things that i do to y'all you know what i mean but every once in a while i just have to break down and just just talk because i'm a talker you know like that anyway so as mr new and, and and here's here's the thing he said you should be in crowd so these football games whatever have you because you know how people they get drunk and they get crazy and whatever nah, you, you know fight whatever I'm, you know I get interested. I had an incident even in in in, uh, in Louisville it was kind of strange so I'm sort of withdrawn from a bunch of a bunch of stuff uh, crowds getting around people especially people drinking you know don't want to do that so I'm watching a football game alone in a room you know, like that you know what I mean so I'm just saying look hey the way it is the way it is and you got to 
be principal and not principal. But if you continue to allow them to control you, you're in serious trouble. Serious trouble, you know? I'm not advocating anything for anybody. I have nothing to say to anybody else. I'm my own whatever. I've gotten to, I, I think I'm at a particular point in my age or whatever have you. I got to make some adjustments. I'm not preaching to nobody anymore unless you listen to the YouTube, I guess. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm, I'm just through. I'm not giving any more advice. People that know me, know me. My work, people that know what I do, you know, we can hang out. But other than that, I'm not getting out into this world because there's too much craziness and people got too many ideas. There's a lot of mental illness running around, you know, people talking about this stuff. So anyway, I just wanted to come to you just to say that, hey, I, I like to get myself together. I want you to get yourself together. And that's my my, my wish as I, um, my last, uh, what, 10 days or whatever have you in the States. When I go back to South Africa, I, I hope things can get straight because I really don't want to get back to the United States anytime. I want to get back maybe next whatever because I have to come every year but I'm, I'm, I'm through these insanity if people if people don't know what's being done to them you know you can't I can't wake up anybody not me I don't have that I don't have that celebrity or anything that, that to do that kind of thing so just a little ranting from me T from the Patterson's taking the train to Tibet letting you know what I only suspect